Liberal Party a hosted event in Western Melbourne Saturday night. Uh, 450 plus people there, a waiting list, literally standing room only. I was there, Moira Deeming was there, she was the headline act. Jacinta Price, of course, Warren Mundine, a Victorian Liberal MP Bev MacArthur and Senator Sarah Henderson, Senator Claire Chandler and the wonderful Alex Antic, Senator of South Australia, who joins me now. Uh, Senator, uh, as I said, packed out, uh, really electric crowd, diverse crowd. This wasn't the usual Liberal Party a, a crowd that you find at events like this. What does that tell you about how the Liberal Party can win back communities like this and how the Liberal Party gets back into office? Yeah, well, Peter, it was a great night, as you said in your intro there, and it was great to be there to support Moira, who's a brave, intelligent, courageous woman, and you know, really, I think, in many ways, almost the uh, the uh, prototype for uh, a modern MP. She's she was just terrific. It was an honour to be there, uh, and the crowd too. I mean, I think this is the future for the way in which the Liberal Party needs to engage with the community. It was, there were people there that had. Genuine concerns, the sort of concerns you don't hear on ABC radio in the mornings, the sort of concerns you don't get from most of the floor in which I'm sitting at the moment, the media section up here in, uh, in Parliament House, but real issues. They're worried about their kids going to school and getting indoctrinated by woke teachers. They're worried about, uh, you know, the degradation of our culture and our heritage and worried about real things economically as well, cost of living, uh, high uh, inflation and those sorts of things. Uh, politics has got to remember that they're the people we're there to speak to and politicians who are brave enough to do mm. that, who are brave to uh, brave enough to come out and say those things and attack those issues and advocate for those issues will reap the rewards. Yeah, I made the point, I mean, I've, I go to Liberal Party events a fair bit, they have certainly in the past. It's a long time since I saw a crowd of 450 people at a branch event, but there we were. Uh, John Pizzuto, the Victorian Liberal leader, was asked about it on Sunday and he said, and I quote, he's perfectly comfortable, I'm perfectly comfortable, he said, with people attending whatever events they want to go to. Yet by going to an event that he didn't like, he expelled uh, Moira Demi. Yeah, look, I mean, I've, I've said it before uh, on this channel and elsewhere, I, I don't understand what the controversy about Moira going to that event was. I think it was... You know, it was absolutely reasonable. And Bev MacArthur, who was there as well, Upper House MP from Victoria, said that if she hadn't been interstate, she would have been there as well at that rally. So, um, look, I, I don't really understand that. And, and you know, John Pizzuto should be happy because I suspect that would have raised a lot of money on the night uh, and giving people a lot of hope. I think hope that there are MPs out there across the board, but uh, people that are listening to their concerns and are not frightened to take them on. So I think it was a great event and uh, be happy to do uh, another heap of them. Yeah, and I also know she went to South Australia recently, Maura Demi, and uh, had a sold-out crowd there as well. Just before we go, your Donald Trump, uh, Nigel Farage, or Donald Trump Jr., Nigel Farage uh, uh, speaking to her, looks like it's back on. What can you tell us? Yeah, well, it was only ever postponed. It is back on, uh, and those dates are now the last week of September, I'm told. Uh, the Sydney event date and venue hasn't been uh, determined yet, but people can go and have a look, trumplive.com.au, uh, uh, I'm told, is the website, and those dates are back on board and he's going to be coming back and presumably uh, all the lefties out there can get triggered all over again like it was just yesterday. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Well, what, sort of, uh, what sort of topics are you ready for? Everything. I want to hear about them all. I mean, Nigel's just been through this incredible thing with the banks. I want to hear about that. I want to hear about the, uh, you know, the sorts of things that are going on in the US with the persecution of Donald Trump. And uh, and I think there's a really important lesson there from both of those phenomenon, the Trump uh, election and Brexit, to what we're seeing now in The Voice with real people fighting back against the, the corporate establishment. I think it's a, a lot of pertinent lessons for Australia. You are not wrong, Alex Antic. Thank you, as always, for your time. People can head to the uh, website, get all the information. When the city dates come out, they'll go up there as well. But uh, get in early like you did before because uh, you will not want to miss it. Alex Antic, thank you.